So as you can see behind me right here, there are some lip products. Today, we are going to do a big, the biggest lip declutter ever on my channel. I don't think I've ever done a lip declutter, but oh my goodness, I have so many lip products. And those are my favorite that I have there. So we're going to get into the ones that I haven't used in a while. I will show you an overview soon, and then we're going to get started at decluttering. So as you can see, here are all of the lip products we're going to go through. They're not even organized anymore. This were a little bit more organized, but they're everywhere. So I'm going to try put them all in order based on brand, and then we're going to see what we're going to declutter. And then, of course, here we're going to have some of my favorites, which these are all a keeper, but I'm going to go through them and show you and tell you why they mean so much to me. So let's get started. Okay, so I don't even know where I want to start. Like, look at this. I guess I'm going to remove all of this and then we're going to put uh, based on brand and then we see what we declutter or if we declutter everything and see what we keep. So let me rearrange stuff quickly. Okay, so I think Revlon, it looks like we have three only here. So the shades I have is 453, 205, and 467. So let's swatch them so I can show you and see if I keep them. I have no idea what I want to keep. They're so nice and uh, soft. That is 453. It has some shimmer. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. A nice neutral mauve, 467. And then we have 205, which is like a nude brown. And they're all still very buttery and they look really nice. So I think, <laughs> so far I think I'm keeping this. Let me dump this all out here. I found another Revlon, so this is 027, and this is another nice purple, which is a little bit more darker than this pink one. So I think these are all nice shades, and I'm keeping this Revlon for sure. Okay, now let's choose um, a different brand. Let's go with NYX and put all the NYX here. Oh, before we go to NYX, I found another Revlon, and let's see this one. This is in the shade 020. Um, this looks quite old, and it's like an icy pink, and I think I'm going to declutter this one. So the shade 020, I'm going to put in my declutter box. Let's move on to NYX now. Okay, so I think for NYX, this is all I have. So I have the shade Free Spirit, which looks like a really nice nude color. Oh my goodness, I don't want to get rid of any. This is a very pretty, very pretty nude color. So I'm keeping this one. Then we have the NYX in the shade Kali. Another nice brown, perfect for fall. <laughs> Keeping that one. Then we have NYX in the shade T Rose. Wow, this is so pretty too. Gorgeous purple pink. Um, let me see what else I have here. Then I have NYX in the shade Violet Smoke. Uh, I have to keep one of them only. I don't know which one. I think I'll keep the this one, which is T Rose, and then get rid of violet smoke that's what i'm thinking i don't think i'm gonna wear this purple so i'm keeping this one and then i have two by nyx these are lip glosses in the shade cotton candy okay very nice barbie lip gloss and then in the shade marinch another type of bubblegum type of shade 
very similar they are but I think I'm gonna get rid of both so I'm gonna declutter this ones as well let's quickly go back to Revlon because I did find a couple more Revlons here so uh we'll see we go as we find them because there's just so many that I can't I can't see them all maybe I should take them all out and see yeah those are not Revlon Ardeen. so I have the Revlon color state ultimate suede in the shade 025 it's nice and buttery it looks nice do I need it that's the question Let's put it aside and see. Then we have the this three, which are the same uh, kind. So these are the Revlon gel lip color, but they're not really gel. They're more like lipsticks and they do twist. So let's see, this is a nice nude. That's a nice one. So this I'm gonna keep. I love my nude shades. So this I'm gonna keep for sure. Then I have the Revlon in the shade 710. This one was in the shade 700, if you're wondering. It's perfect for every day. This is 710, which is a little bit more intense than that one. So I'm going to keep it. I really like this one. And then I have the shade 765, which is a nice purple. And I think I'm going to keep this one because it's really... It's a beautiful shade. I'm going to get rid of this one. Let's go between this Rimmel's one. So they're kind of lip glosses. Oh My Gloss by Rimmel. So I have this one that says up to, oh my gloss, up to six hour wear. So it's a very nice lip oil. So I'm going to keep this one because it's just like a nice see-through lip oil. It says up to six hours, but I'm not sure. So I'm keeping this one for sure. Um, this is in the shade 200 Master Pink, and I think we're gonna get rid. Do we need to get rid of this one? It's kind of like a nice see through pink. No, I think I want to keep this one. Hold on, mm. but I have so many. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'll probably give all of this to my daughter, and then all my gloss in the shade 150 Glossaholic. This is a nice lip gloss, too. Very nice and nude, but I'm gonna pass this along to my daughter. I have enough lip glosses, so I'm gonna declutter both of this and just keep the see-through one. Let's go into this Maybelline's. And we also have the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. Okay, so let's go into this lipstick. So this is an older one, Maybelline in the shade Espresso 295. It's a bullet lipstick and it's a nice, brown shade oh my god I love this shade too mm, maybe it has some really nice lipsticks but you know what I think I'm gonna declutter this it's the only kind that I have like this and I think I'm gonna have some shades probably in here that I'm gonna keep so I'm gonna declutter this one now let's go into shade 930 this is again a very nice nude so it has a little bit more of a pink cool tone undertone than this one. So I think I'm keeping this one in the shade 930. Let's see 760. This is more matte. It's a darker shade. I don't know. I think, do I want this? Maybe I'll keep this one, this dark shade. I really love my browns. And then we have 665 Lust for Blush which is this nice purple. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. And 445, oh, which is a nice mauve Oh, that's pretty too. But no, I'm gonna get rid of both of this. I don't need them, so I'm gonna pass them along. Oh, now we have this lifter glosses. This, people went crazy about this. I picked three up, but one is in the shade 001 Pearl, which they have hyaluronic acid. So this is a nice one. I'm gonna keep this one. It's see-through, it's very hard to see. It has some pearlescent in it. So I'm keeping this one. And then we have the shade 004, which has a tint to it. Let's see, 004. 
then we have this brown one crystal 010 which has some shimmers oh that's a pretty one i'm gonna keep this two ones which is 001 and 010 and i'm gonna get rid of 004 let's move on to some l'oreal here i have a lot by l'oreal so let's start with the actual lipstick this is in the shade 814 forever frappe i love that name and this looks like an intense brown uh, i don't think i'm gonna keep this one i'm gonna pass this one along it's really pretty but do i need it do i need it i love frappe looks nice when you blend it okay i think i'm gonna keep it for now i'm gonna put in my keep pile and then we'll see then we have this one l'oreal infallible paints shade 310 this is a very interesting formula i love this one but it's quite dark i don't know why i got such a dark one but i really love the packaging but because it's so dark i'm gonna declutter it then we have this kind, the Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 360 Angora. Let's see here. See, this is a very similar shade to that one I declutter, but it's more mauve. And then we have the shade 105 Petal, which this has, it's more pink and has more of a pearlescent in it. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to keep this one and i'm gonna get rid of angora right here so in keeping the pearlescent one and then we still have this l'oreal in the shade 416 create i love this one so this type of doe food applicators okay let's test them all out this is in the shade 458 that's a very nice red i kind of like this formula and this is in the shade 301 be determined okay so i'm gonna get rid of this one let me see did i put it on top of something else yeah this is like garbage because i think it's expired the way it swatches but this two i'm gonna keep this two for now and i'm gonna get rid of this one so 301 declutter then we have this kind which on one end it has this type of lip product which is kind of like a balm and on the other end we have the actual lipstick so let's see here this is this purple one and then this is this brown one so the purple one is in the shade 107 brown is in 119 so i'm gonna keep the brown one 119 i'm gonna get rid of 107. let's move on to smashbox i have three by smashbox so smashbox these are the gloss angels or angelus lip products and this is in the shade mercury mauve oh i don't know these are so pretty these lip glosses this is a pretty one then this is in the shade beachy keen this doesn't have any sparkles it's just like a nice brown but they're lip glosses and then this one is in the shade shimmer this is tough they're also pretty i do want to keep them all so i'm gonna keep all of this these are really pretty so i'm keeping all of this <laughs> oh no <laughs> we're not doing so good we have to declutter more okay so let's go into morphe here morphe and jeffree star i have the gloss by jeffree star this nice pink i think i'm gonna declutter this one i have not worn it or gravitated towards it so i'm gonna put this in the declutter pile um this is the morphe in the shade boho I think I'm gonna declutter this one. I find it to be too light on my but it looks really nice. I don't know. I don't know, and I don't have that many Morphe products. And then I have this Morphe lipstick in the shade cream. Maybe I'll declutter this one. Let's see. Yeah, this is the light one. That's too bright for me. So I'm gonna declutter this one and keep the lip gloss. 
And then we have All of This by Morphe with Jeffree Star. I have Leo, then I have Slurp, First Impressions, Star Crown, and Mannequin. And I think I'm going to give all of this away to my daughter. I haven't used this in a while, and then she can play with them. And there's like a lip gloss, like a see-through lip gloss, which I already have in the other ones. So yeah, I'm going to give this one away, all of this. Okay, we're doing good. Let's see some Ardell products. Okay, so I think that's all. I have some random ones. Okay, so I have Ardell Matte Whipped Lipstick in Still Waiting. Sorry if you hear the outside. Someone's just cutting the lawn right now. And this is Still Waiting, so they're both the same. So I'm going to declutter both. Not a big fan of this shade. So I'll put this in the declutter box. Okay, so I went ahead and I organized them a little bit. Let's check this ones out. They are by The Balm. I picked this all up by myself. So I have the shade Dotting, which is like, looks very nice orangey. Then we have the shade, oh, Amplify, I think it's called. Amplify, which is a nice glossy light pink. We have the shade Overstate. I haven't used this ones in a while. They're so beautiful, especially this glossy ones on the lips. And then we have the shade Dedicated, which is this intense red probably. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to keep the two glossy ones and then get rid of this two color ones. So I came across two ones by Rimmel. And I have the shade 120. You're all mine. Very interesting pink. And then 300. Listen up. Ooh, that's intense. So I think I'm going to get rid of both of this. I haven't worn them in a while. And I don't think I'm going to gravitate towards them. So declutter. Speaking of Revlon. I have four more products, which I have these three ones. They are the Revlon Colorstay Overtime Lip Color. I have the shade Eternally Tan, Keep Blushing, and Ultimate Wine. And I, these are the type that you apply the color first, and then you go ahead and you top it with the gloss on the other end. So I really like this one, the Eternally Tan. Let me try this one here, the pink one. Yeah, I think this is too pink. And then the red Ultimate Wine. I love how they're just so soft. I really like this red. Okay, so I'll keep the brown and the red and get rid of the pink. Uh, I also have this Revlon Cl Kiss Plumping Lip Cream, which I don't know what shade this is, 530, which is a squeezy tube and it's like a lip cream, very soft on your lips. And then I have this Revlon Kiss Balm. So it's you twist it up and it's very hard to see, but it's kind of, it's balmy. So I'm going to get rid of both. I have not, this is really good though, but I think I'm going to give them to my daughter. Okay, let's move on to Bumex. This is my friend's company. She owns this. I have a review on her products on my channel. And she sent me two of these lip products. This is Bumex in the shade FS76. It's very nice pink. Then it's this one, SHM06, which is so, so unique. It's like that duochrome eyeshadow from Natasha Denona. I don't have anything like that. And this is for lips. Like, look at that shift and duochrome in this one and then i have the bumex this is in the shade lg 23 it's a nice gloss and this is in the shade fs 55 so i think i'm gonna pass this along to my daughter and then keep this lip glosses here. I really like this ones. Okay, so let's move on to some Sephora products. So I have a Sephora lipstick and I think, I don't even know what shade this is. Oh yeah, two or number two, which is 
bright it has some shimmers in it but it's this bright one and it's quite old so I think I'm gonna just chop this one out then I have this Sephora lip gloss in the shade 44 which has some really nice shimmer I'm gonna keep this one it's really pretty right here and then the Mark Hoffman for Sephora collection I think I'm gonna pass this along to my daughter it's this nice pink lip gloss so I'm only keeping this uh, lip gloss it looks like I'm keeping a lot of lip glosses and then pass this one along okay so let's move on to this products right here half caked um, I think I'm gonna get rid of all of this this came in a boxy charm I have 82 Bordeaux Loki and theme song so I can quickly swatch them for you so this is probably my favorite the brown but yeah I'm gonna get rid of all of this pass them along it's not something I would gravitate towards now let's move on to Milani so these are the products I have by Milani I have two lipsticks and then two lip glosses so the lipsticks I have in the shade 61 matte let's go here oh this is a nice lovely mauvey matte I'm keeping that one and then this is in the shade 09 pink frost it's probably a, some shimmer yeah so I'm gonna get rid of the pink frost and keep this one which is this nice beautiful matte I love it and then for lip glosses I have 12 sparkling pink and then the see-through one which is 09 moonlight oh why is this so pretty like very interesting it looks white but when you use it on the hand it turns into this purple pink so I think I'm keeping this one and getting rid of uh, 12 sparkling pink so let's move on to NYX let's start with this one the NYX cosmic metals in the shade 15 wow it looks really pretty it's metallic a little bit but it's very neutral so I'm keeping this one then we have this one which for sure I'm keeping the NYX powder puff lippy in the shade cool intentions it comes with this puff applicator and it's a nice matte brown so I'm definitely keeping this one and then we have this one the NYX dazed and diffused in the shade girl strip so I love that it comes with a brush on one end and this big chubby pencil on the other and it's very um it's just a beautiful shade to have so I'm keeping this one as well and then we have this one which I'm gonna get rid of right now these are the NYX shine loud ambition statement and magic maker so they come with this color on one end I will show you with this applicator on one end it's very pretty and then on the other end you have that gloss that you put on top but I find them I find them that they leak sometimes and not a big fan of them so I'm gonna get rid of both of this okay so keeping this ones let's move on to this ones by L'Oreal so we have the L'Oreal matte lip crayon 502 sweet and salty so it's one of them that you twist up so let me see where I can swatch them I'll swatch them here then we have this shade next one is in the shade 05 oh so beautiful I love this one and this is in the shade 30 seek adventure which is this nice purple pink they're so pretty and I love the packaging on this one and this is in the shade 15 lead the way okay so I think I'm gonna keep the three and get rid of the pink one and just keep this three for now we are getting rid of a lot of product you guys let's move on to this one these are a little bit more random but high-end so I have buxom 
and this is like one of those nice chubby crayons and this is the dolly danger so it's really nice i really love it i love this type of chubby crayons i'm keeping this one then i have the bite one and uh, this is a mini i think i'm gonna pass this on to my daughter oh then we have the nars and this is a velvet matte lip pencil and i don't know is it in the shade get off maybe but i love nars so i'm keeping this shade as well then we have stila and this is the stay all day liquid lipstick and this is in the shade patina <laughs> Very nice movie color. I think I'm gonna pass this on to my daughter. I haven't used it in a while. And then I have this MAC Love Me Liquid Lip Color. Been There Plum That is the shade. It's a very interesting name. And I just got this from Winners. It's very more dark. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I don't have that many dark ones, so I'm keeping it for that reason. Yeah, and for sure I'm keeping the Buxom and NARS. Let's move right along to CoverGirl. So we have this product by CoverGirl. This, I can tell you that it's old. This is the 598 CoverGirl. So again, it comes with this nice lip product on one end. I don't know. I don't think I need it or use it. I have not gravitated towards, so I'm going to declutter it. Then I have this club cover girl, which you put the color base and then the lip gloss. This is the Outlast All Day. And this is in the shade, I don't know the shade. It doesn't have a shade, so I think I'm gonna get rid of it. Again, it's this nice pink on one side. And then you put the lip gloss on the, again, on top. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. Then we have the cover girl 24 hour matte lipstick. Oh, this is, seems quite drying because it's a matte lipstick this is in the shade 600 stay with me so i think i'm gonna get rid of this i don't like the formula it seems very drying so i'm gonna declutter it then we have this colors the covergirl clean fresh they're like lip balms but with shades so your the palm is this one and then e, and then this one is in the shade made for peach which is very hard because you can't tell unless you open them so this i'm gonna keep because they're kind of like lip balms but with color in them and they have hyaluronic acid so i'm keeping this two shades here let's see we have two by co beauty so i think yeah this is the purple lip gloss which i'm gonna declutter and this is Co Beauty Lip Boost Plumping Gloss. This is in the shade Moon Dust, which is a very nice icy shade, but I do have others. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna declutter both because I already have the shade in others. So I'm gonna declutter both of this. Okay, so let's move on to e.l.f. So I have the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss, and this is in the shade Peach Bellini. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter this one because I already have it in other formula and other brands. And then we have this e.l.f. Perfect Pink. So I think it's one of those lip balms that adjusts to your pH levels and then it turns pink. You see how pretty that is? Hmm, do I want this? I don't know if I want this. Maybe I'll keep it for a bit. I'll keep this one for a bit and see. I'll keep it on my table and play with it and see how much I use it. But you can see it already turned pink here so I'm gonna declutter this one okay let's see this L'Oreal collective exclusive with JLo this is in the shade 370 and it's so pretty it still has the L'Oreal name on the lipstick and it's this nice nude color I like L'Oreal lipstick so I'm keeping this one and let's move on to this lipsticks here. So these are by Red Apple. They were kind enough to send this to me. This is in Hibiscus. Very nice hot pink. This one is in Barcelona. Nice brown. And this is in Maybury. It's hard because I'm putting them on top of lip glosses. Okay, so I think I'm going to keep Barcelona and Maybury and declutter this one and give it to my daughter, Hibiscus. 
Okay, so we have the physician's formula Muru Muru Butter. This is in the shade Pinkini. It's one of those lip glosses, lip balms, but I'm gonna declutter it. I'm not keeping this one. Then I have the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick in the shade 944B. I love the packaging on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter this one as well. Then we have the Hard and Candy Coconut Rose. Mm, I think this is one of those products that again adjust your pH levels. It's really pretty with Marilyn Monroe on it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna declutter this one as well. And then we have this beautiful lipstick by Essence. This is color changing again, but look at this shine. Are you able to see this? Okay, so this is again color changing, adjusting to your pH. I think I'm gonna declutter this one and pass it on to my daughter. And then we have the Essence in the shade 12 Loyal, which is this nice nude, but it has that pinch, the peach undertone. I don't like peach undertone too much on my lips, so I'm gonna declutter both. Okay, so let's quickly go through all of this. These are just stuff that I think I'm gonna declutter all of this. So I have the Marcel Lux Gloss. This is in the shade 40 Angel. It's just like a lip gloss. So I'm gonna declutter this one. Then I have this Cab Gloss in the shade Charming. This came in a boxy charm. I'm gonna declutter this one. It's just so chunky and I don't like that shade. Then I have this one, which I don't know what it is. It has no brand name. It's this interesting orange. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. What is it? Let me see here. Oh, Maybelline in the shade 40 Captivating Coral. I'm keeping this one because it's unique and I don't have anything like this in my collection. Okay, then we have Burt's Bees. This is Tinted Lip Oil. It's one of those with brushes. It's a really good product, but I don't need it. I'm gonna declutter it. Then we have this one by Maybelline Vivid Hot Liqueur which is very, very light. This doesn't look good on my, on my lips at all, so I'm gonna declutter it. Gold Digger by Real Her Moisturizing Lipstick. I think, never even used this, I think. Yeah, so I'm gonna declutter this one. Pass it along to my daughter, it's right here. Okay, Vitamin Rich Tinted Lip Oil, Chapstick Total Hydration, I'm gonna declutter. Then we have the Vintage by Jessica Lieberkind. I'm gonna declutter this one. I really don't like this type of um, applicator. You can see the hairs. Maybe I'll just throw this one out because those hairs are not comfortable. Then I have the Yves Rocher in the shade Elix no, in the shade 102. You ordered this from Yves Rocher. I'm gonna declutter this one. It's probably garbage, so I'm gonna throw this one out. Here's another one I got in a boxy charm, V Cosmetic in the shade Bubbly. It's this hot, hot pink. It feels very nice on the skin when you apply it, so I'm gonna declutter it. Then we have, I don't know what this is, Merly Blue Fit Tint. I don't know, this is one of those Korean lipsticks, I think. It's this hot red. So I think I'm gonna throw it out since I don't even know the brand. I'm gonna chuck it. I have Alter Ego. They just sent this to me. And this color is unique and I love that dark brown and I don't have anything like that in my collection so I'm keeping this one. Then we have this one by Queen. This is in the shade Monroe because Marilyn Monroe always wore this type of lipsticks. Look at that red. But I'm decluttering it. I don't like this color that much on me, so I'm gonna chuck it. Then we have this one, the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour, which on one end you have this lipstick. Wow, very pink. And on the other, you have this type of lip balm. But this is so old that I'm gonna just throw it out. I won't give it to my daughter, just garbage. Then we have this one by Kismet in the shade Baby. I really love the packaging. It looks really nice and luxurious and it's a nice color. So I'm just gonna pass this along. I will declutter it. 
Then we have the Mana Kadar Lip Lip Locked Priming Gloss Stain in the shade Lucky. Hmm. Um, I think I'm gonna declutter this one. I just have too many of this shade, so I'm gonna declutter it. Then we have Riri. I think this is a Korean brand in the shade B04. Let's see. Yeah, it's very drying, so I think I'm gonna just throw this one out. Then we have Catkin, which is another Asian brand and I'm gonna pass this along let me see yeah in the shade CR129 but I think I'm gonna just chuck it I think it's old as well so I'm gonna get rid of it and then we have this plumping essence what the fake lip filler so it's just like a see-through lip gloss so I'm gonna pass this along okay so let's move on to this one here okay so here we have the Maybelline ones. So we have shade 05 right here, which seems quite light, but it, it, it looks quite light on the packaging, but look how beautiful it transfers. So this is 05, this is 10. These are supposed to stain. That's shade 10, 35, this hot purple. Then we have 55, which is another nice brown. I love my browns. This is 65, 70. Oh, this is pretty too. And then 100, which is this nice purple. Oh, okay. So I think I definitely want to keep five, which is the first one. And I want to keep 55, which is this one right here. I want to keep my 55 and 5. And I think I want to keep this to 65 and 70, which are these two shades. And then getting rid of this pink and mauvey one, passing them along. Okay, let's quickly discuss these products here. So I have... I have my Dior products, which I love. You guys know in the shade 900, 039, 900. I have two because one is almost done. So I'm keeping my Dior products. Then I have this Dior lip oils. I'm keeping both in the shade 002. It's this one. And 247 is this pink one. So I'm keeping both. Then I have this lip glow oils. This is in the shade 007 and 012. Beautiful lip glow, glow oils. I'm keeping them. Um, I have two Padme Graph lipsticks. I don't know what I did. Yet. The other ones I think expired. So I'm keeping this one. This is in the shade Flesh 7. It's so pretty. This nice balmy brown. And this sparkly one is in the shade Bronze Astral. Look at that. It's just gorgeous and it transfers so nice on the lips. So yeah, I'm keeping both of this. Okay, let's move on to Sephora ones, which I'm keeping all. This is in the shade seven. It's quite, it's, it's very grayish, but I don't have anything like that. This is in the shade three, so pretty in the shade 65 that nice movie and they're all made in Italy this ones and they're so affordable from Sephora 74 this nice brown and this is 68 which has some sparkles in it look at that so pretty okay so obviously I'm keeping all of this Okay, then I have this Milani ones, which they're all a keeper. Um, this is in the shade 420 Tees. It's a nice neutral brown. Very pretty. In the shade 110 Lustful. It has more of a balmy uh, consistency, this one. It's really pretty. This is in the shade 220 tied up again this is more matte no no this is balmy as well 
Very pretty. I love this balmy ones. I prefer the balmy ones over the mattes, but I love the mattes too. This is in the shade 210 Nylon. Very balmy again. Pretty. And this is in the shade 460 Sensual. More of a darker one, which I don't have in my collection, but it's pretty. So yeah, they're all keepers. Mac. Let's see here. So I have Mac. Oh, so hard to read here. 306 which is this nice pink red. I love MAC lipsticks, so I'm keeping that. This is in the shade 648. Nice mauve pink. This is in the shade 922 Verk, which is more of a red, very similar to that first one. This is in the shade 314, nice brown. Nice brown right here. And then this is in the shade 601 Candy Yum Yum. Oh, this is that hot pink. So I'm keeping them even though I barely use the pink. I love MAC lipsticks. Okay, so I have the two glosses by CoverGirl. The Yummy Clean Fresh Glosses. Shade 150 and 350. Definitely recommend this ones from the drugstore. They're very good. Similar to the Dior lip oils. I love my Tower 28 lip glosses. And I have the shades... Pistachio right here. I have a short on my channel with all of the shades swatched. Pistachio, Wild, my favorite shade, and Almond as well. They're all my favorite, but I really love this one because you can really see it on the lips. I have my Rare Beauty lip oils. I have a video on my channel on this, and you can see which shades I have in that video. I have one in my purse, but I do have shades of Wonder, Joy, this is Honesty, and I have another shade in my purse, which I don't remember what it is, the name of it. I have two by Fenty. These are the lip stains, and I have the shade Strawberry Sangria, and this is in the shade Berry, and these are the Poutsicles, so they're more uh, stains. So I'm keeping those. Oh, but I wanted to show you this by L'Oreal. So I have in the shade 107 and 109. This is 107. Let me see what I can. Very balmy and nude right here. And then we have 109, which is, it looks like this purple, but it's not purple. I think it just, it's kind of glossy right here and see-through. So don't be afraid of that. So I'm keeping this one as well. I have my BKBD lipsticks. I'm keeping all of them. I have this beautiful Laura Mercier lipstick. I think I got in a boxy charm. And it's really pretty. I love this mauve wine on the lips. So I'm keeping it and I love that it's magnetic. Then I have three lipsticks by Lancome. So I have this shade, 37 Wine Party. This shade right here. Then we have shade 126 Natural Beauty, which is this nice brown one, my favorite. And then shade 342 Racy, which is very intense red. But I love Lancome lipsticks, so I'm keeping all three. I have the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. So this came in a boxy charm, and it's one of those juicy lip oil, lip glosses, lip balm. So be careful when you click. Don't click too much, because then you're going to be stuck with the product outside. And then this lip... Clinique. I actually have two. Hold on. I have the Clinique in the shade Black Honey, which is this lipstick. And then I have the lip gloss in Black Honey, which I just picked up. And it's the same, but it's in a lip gloss shade right there. So I'm keeping both because I love my Clinique products. And here's the last batch right here. So, definitely keeping my Huda Beauty Lip Blush. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite. This is what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's a nice lip stain. Don't be intimidated by the actual color of the packaging. This is in the shade Rosy Kiss. So pretty. Uh, I'm keeping my Chanel. This is in the shade Light Rose. So, there's a color on this side right here. It's really pretty. And then on the other side, you have the actual lip, lip gloss that goes on top of it. 
So I'm keeping this one. Then I have my MAC Diesel Glass. This is in the shade Prancing Dancing, which is this nice gloss with this cute shimmer, but it's a very soft. You don't see those sparkles. It's a very nice soft glo gloss. Very sticky, so be careful. And I'm keeping this Burt's Bees in the shade 515. There's something about this shade that I really enjoy. It's such a nice soft pink and it looks really, really nice on the lips. So keeping that one. This is a beautiful product by e.l.f. Ride or Die Lip Balm. And this is in the shade Tough Cookie. And I love the packaging. It's kind of like glossier packaging. And it's this nice um, balmy consistency and a beautiful shade on the lips. It makes your lips so juicy and it's, it just looks stunning on the lips. So keeping this one. I have this one by Fenty Beauty Heat. Fenty Beauty in the gloss balm in the shade Hot Cherry. So I don't know. I'm still keeping this one. It's interesting. It, you get a little bit of a tingling feeling when you apply this to the lips, but I'm keeping it. Then I have this one by Item Beauty. I love this product. It's a nice glossy balm uh, consistency and I love that neutral brown. I'm also keeping this Pat McGrath because this didn't fit there but kind of the top is kind of messed up. This whole product came out of here. But I do love the color. It's such a nice brown so I don't want to throw it out. So it just kind of broke but I have to keep it standing up like this. I have my NYX Fat Lip Oils and this is in the shade Newsfeed, the red one. And this is in the shade That's Chic. So I'm keeping both of those. I have this one that I bought from Pride Fool because this is an SPF for your lips. So I'm keeping it because it's the only one I own. So always make sure to put SPF on your lips as well. And this is a Co Beauty lip balm. It's one of those that you push up by twisting it, but then it never comes back down. So very similar to the Mario one, and it's right here. It's so pretty. Oh, and another one by Pat McGrath. This is in the shade Flash 3. Ooh, love this shade. So I'm keeping this one as well. Let me organize them and I'll show you what I'm keeping and what I got rid of. Okay, so this is everything that I'm keeping. That was not on my desk and then this is all the stuff that always hangs out on my desk so i've always had this and then let me show you what i'm decluttering oh and this is everything we've decluttered and then here i have stuff that i'm throwing out because this is just too old and expired but this i can pass along to my daughter she can choose what she wants and the rest we can throw out but yeah this is all declutter this is what I'm keeping only, and this is always that stays on my desk. Hello. <laughs> okay, this is all I kept. So here are my lipsticks. These are uh, from here up all on the nude brown, from here more mauvey pink. And then these are all of my lip glosses. So that's all I have left. And this is also what I'm keeping, which always stays on my desk. Okay, so you can see in the background, this is what I've decluttered. That's what I'm keeping. And then I have one more box that I'm keeping. And then right here is what we're throwing out. I hope you guys really enjoyed this declutter. That's it for me today. I wish you all a wonderful day. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.